Good morning. Good morning. Are y'all excited? Yes, ma'am. It's 830. I'm not usually this excited at 830, but uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm going to kind of stay in catty corner so I can see the screen as we go through this. First of all, thank you all for being here. Thank you for sharing of your time, your talent, and the treasure of yourself as we go through today. Uh, today is a couple of things. It's a celebration of the last three years of hard work, of everybody uh, that we've worked with through this process, um, for my staff, for our board, and for the 2,900 folks who volunteered over 4,000 of their hours to make this work possible. So we're excited to be here. Um, before I get started in this, and I've got the hook over here, so I'm very limited on time. Uh, I do want to recognize a few people. Uh, first of all, if you are a member of the East Arkansas Planning and Development District Board of Directors, uh, either, and you've been a member of that board at any time during this work, please stand and let us uh, recognize your leadership through this process. I have one of the, I've been in nonprofit uh, management for uh, almost 25 years now, on or off, and uh, I can tell you that the Board of Directors for East Arkansas Planning and Development District is one of the best, if not the best board I've ever served, and I appreciate your confidence, I appreciate your support, and I appreciate your ongoing leadership as we grow uh, and develop EAPDD. The second group I want to recognize is my staff. Uh, we have a dynamic, someone described it last night as brilliant, and I would agree with that, team. Uh, and if you are on the EAPDD staff, I promise you everything that you are touching today, experiencing today, this group has gone above and beyond to make sure that your experience is uh, beneficial uh, for you. So if you're on the staff of EAPDD, would you stand? Now, finally, I do want to give special recognition to Jennifer Watkins and Jamie Wright, who are the maestros for today. Uh, they have organized this, uh, and I promise you, in 25 years of uh, nonprofit management, I have never had an event like this that I have been so hands off and so relaxed about. So I appreciate their hard work and service uh, to making this happen. So with that, I'm going to jump into this uh, and, and slide through it pretty quickly. So just brace yourself, buckle your seatbelts, because we're going on a ride. Um, and hopefully I can point this in the right direction, right? So I love quotes. I feel like if you don't pay attention to history and historical leadership, uh, you're, you're really missing out on some benefit. So we've spent three years of planning, right? So Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'm gonna spend the first four sharpening my ax. I assure you that's what we've been doing and we're about to start chopping. So we hope you join us. Well, maybe you shouldn't have buckled your seat belts. All right, so we're, plan we're celebrating a $2.6 million regional sustainability planning grant that we received through HUD, Department of, U.S. Department of Transportation, and EPA. Uh, this grant really has been, we've been very focused on being good stewards of this, this funding, uh, and we've, we're about to show you what we've done with it. Um, with this funding, uh, you see the locally driven strategic plans in green, it is all driven locally local 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 what you envision for your community is how we want to develop the uh, strategies and the support mechanisms around it with it you see that we've got land use transportation housing 
uh, local foods, which turn into an incredible uh, support tool, custom data platform, which you'll be seeing later, public-private partnerships, and capacity building for folks like you on the ground that want to make your community better. Here's our footprint. We serve 12 counties in East Arkansas. We go up to the Missouri Boot Hill with Randolph and Clay County and as far south as Phillips County. And the pins that you see there are the local strategic plans that have been completed. Out of that, we've developed a regional, aggregated a regional plan that pulls together top priorities from each of the local plans into a regional uh, strategic plan. EAPDD now is focused to support both local and regional priorities. Uh, and these are the top priorities. <clears throat> Civic leadership development, infrastructure development, housing is a huge issue for our region for several different reasons. Healthy communities, which include beautification as well as health issues, education and workforce development, tourism and cultural development, and of course, business development. So what we've done over the last three years is we have aligned the EAPDD team. Um, this team is focused on four core values. If you've been in meetings with us, I'm sure you've heard this before. My entire team is focused on delivering quality, excellence, customer service with integrity. If you don't experience that with my team, please contact me. Uh, but I assure you, uh, they are all professionals. They are focused and as dedicated to success as we are. That means whether you're dealing with my program management team, environmental services, financial management, our deputy director that handles economic and community development, or even operations of our facilities, uh, you should experience that. The program support team, Sheila and Sherman are community liaisons. They're on the ground in your communities, meeting with you, identifying projects and, and priorities that align with your strategic priorities, as well as Emily Hathcock, who keeps us legal. <laughs> She's our compliance officer. Uh, we couldn't function without Emily. And our support staff. Everyone from our receptionist to me are focused on giving you the best possible results to help you achieve your priorities. So I do love quotes. John F. Kennedy is one of my favorites and this is one of my absolute favorite JFK quotes. I believe it completely applies to East Arkansas because we do have a tendency to be a little cynical, but this work has shown us some bright spots that we weren't aware of. So we do need um, problems of the world cannot be possibly solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious reality. We need, and I'm telling you right now, your charge today is to be this next sentence. We need men and women who can dream of things that never were and ask why not. And I promise you, when I'm meeting with my team, the question why not is asked a lot. <laughs> Why, how can we make it better? Oh. Well, this next slide that we're trying to get to. Is a glimpse of some of the dreamers, some of those non cynics and Miss Pat, I, I see you at the front. Uh, Ms. Pat has been with me for almost seven years now and has shared this vision. This is just a snapshot of the 2,900 folks that participated with us. And we hope that if you haven't already joined those ranks that you will. So we've, designed, we've aligned our team, we've set our priorities, aligned our team, and now some of the things you're going to see today is that we've, through this process, built supportive tools to help you as you implement. This is not a traditional strategic plan where we've got consultants coming in, they write a plan based on your feedback, and then they walk away. This is a truly a living, breathing participant in how we make uh, East Arkansas better. Uh, so as a result, one of the things that we've done is invested in the development of tools to help you as you get into implementation. And so Winston Churchill once said, however beautiful the strategy, and believe me, we think our baby is the prettiest, I promise you, uh, you should occasionally look at the results, right? 
And so we've done that. You're going to see today tools that will help you be successful. These are field guides that are going to be live on our website that help you. If you're interested in these areas, you'll be able to walk through it step by step interactively um, and create a game plan for your community or your specific project. You have the ongoing support of EAPDD and our partners, but you've got tools available to you to help you get started. Ah, well, let's go back. All right, so on the website, we've got a data platform, uh, data, data, data. I am a data geek. And I'm all for having the conversation around the, the table in the morning at the coffee clutch to figure out where our community is going. But our job at EAPDD is to equip you with valid information so that when you're at that coffee table at the restaurant in the morning and you're influencing how your community is going, you're equipped with knowledge that helps you make an impactful difference. We're going to be continuing to build tools off of this. Um, so this is an ongoing process. And then, even reaching to the individual, if you look in the right corner here, Aunt Bertha, we partnered with a company out of Austin, Texas. And so if you need help, if you're an individual in your community, you need help finding food, health, housing, job training, um, anything in East Arkansas, you can type in your zip code in there and it will populate a report for you, uh, pop up with Google Maps to help you see where it is, service providers that can get you connected as an individual to services to help you be better. The reality is we can do strategic planning for our communities. If we don't support our individuals in, our, in those communities, the community will never achieve the actual potential that they envision for themselves. And so things like Aunt Bertha and other tools are coming our way. Building stronger partnerships. This thing has been all about partnerships and I promise you the partnerships that we've developed are invaluable and they're continuing to grow and become deeper. This started out with a, a grant from HUD, U.S. Department of HUD, USDOT, and EPA. And along the way, we've enhanced our relationships with EDA, the Delta Regional Authority, USDA, and other federal agencies. But also along the way, we've realized that there are things that you cannot apply public money to that impact your ability to be successful. And so we've reached out and built a collaborative partnership with Winthrop Rockefeller Foundation, Arkansas Community Foundation, and Southern Bancor Community Partners to help us achieve uh, or attract a private partnership where public partnership is not always applicable. So what's next? The reality is what next? what's next starts today. We've done this incredible work. You've helped us do this incredible work, but it cannot stop today. We've got to begin taking ownership of this work. And so that's really the theme of today. It's having a reality check of information this morning. We've got an incredible keynote speaker and Dr. Jan, Jan Young talking about taking ownership of your vision and, and beginning to participate in implementing it. And then we've got some fantastic breakout sessions this afternoon to help you begin to build capacity in those areas that you're most interested in uh, working in your community. She's working on it. So what's next? Local, local, local. The reality is everything is driven local. If you work with the EAPDD team on a project, the first question that they should ask you is does this apply to your local strategic plan? If the answer is no, then we need to think about it. Does it need to be included in your plan? Do we need to think about another course of action? Local, local, local. The reality is if our communities are not strong and vibrant, our region will not be strong and vibrant, and on and on. So my last slide is Martin Luther King Jr. Human progress is neither automatic or inevitable. Every step toward the goal of justice requires sacrifice, suffering, and struggle. The tireless exertions and passionate concern of dedicated individuals. 
I truly hope that when you walk away today that you see a niche where you can inject your passion and you're willing to invest your time, talent, and treasure in making your community and your region um, better than it ever has been and that you will look to EAPDD as a partner in helping you do that. So thank you. I hope you have a great day. Please stop any of us uh, if we can do anything for you.